Man, what's poppin' with your boys? Ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be an insane weekend right there slash week. We are going to prepare for Ultimate Team of the Season. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's basically where the best of the best team of the seasons get introduced into packs, as well as for champs, the picks. So it's going to be very sweaty. We've got the best possible players that are good value, best bang for buck. Uh, now, I know if people don't have coins or like money to invest in the game into their teams i've got the best value cards essentially you still need coins but i feel like these are the best bang for buck cards so if you play the game somewhat uh you can spend your money you know very very wisely and get some insane cards right there on your screen it's obviously blurred let's get into it want to know where to get the best possible cheap reliable coins at your fingertips what do you think oh very nice Look at that. Look no further than MMOEXP. Link is down below. Top of description. Use code META for 5% off. This is how I'm currently rocking my team, bro. Uh, and insane players, man. I, I won't lie. Yesterday I played um, for 7 wins, obviously. I was in Div 2. I went to Div 1. I'm nearly at Elite Division. Because of the tactics I provided. Go check that video out, by the way. Very OP tactics. And I don't play this formation. I play a 4 2 3 one. And let me just say, man. I think it was inevitable that this card was going to be spoken about, bro, today. This is definitely one of the most cracked cards out right now. I'll start off by saying this is the best valued card out right now. If not the best card in the game, bro, in terms of just like so broken. The man is is insane, bro. 15 goals, 5 assists in 7 games. I don't know what it is, but he shrugs plays off the ball. The way he turns as well, you just got to add a, a good camp style for him, which is, in my opinion, something that boosts his pace split. I don't know why. To be honest, you can add an engine, though, uh, if you feel like his agility and balance is, you know... Um, not doing well for you but i feel like it's already so low might as well just increase some other stats like i like to have my strikers with good passing especially short passing and uh like the likes of curve etc etc but this guy's physicality is probably the best in the game bro he's literally like a drug bar you know those type of players but yeah let's get into it man we are gonna jump over to the actual uh list of the best 11 right there nowadays in each position but i start off with soloth um i'd say he's the best one right now but yeah He's like the king, bro. He's like the S plus tier. But uh, if we go to squad selector, <clears throat> I have started off already. Uh, no, I haven't actually. Let's just uh, call this anything. And now for goalkeepers, right? I feel like uh, they're very subjective. Now you want to find a goalkeeper that is the best uh, value. Also the best bang for buck as well as doesn't make mistakes. And I think we can all agree it is this keeper here. If you first him used him, you will know. Uh, trust me, very good goalkeeper. It's 38,000 coins right now. What I like about this type of goalkeeper is he's got the height. Now, he doesn't have the weak foot for the kicking, but he's got the height. So, essentially speaking, he reaches those, you know, hard-to-reach areas. And I like this Cobble card. Um, yeah, Cobble has always been a very OP card in FIFA. I feel like for Bundesliga, uh, it used to be summer, but I feel like that team of the season isn't as great and he's not even in Bundesliga anymore. But yeah, you have to look at their height, their reactions. I think his reactions is 85, so that's decent enough, you know what I mean, to get those quick animations going, bro. So yeah, only downfall I'd say is his weak foot. But I mean, 38k, you're getting your money's worth. Trust me on that. Let's jump over to the next one. Now he's going to be the right back. Now this is a new one that got included and he's actually gone up in price because of how good he is. Versed him a couple of times in uh, champs qualifiers as well as rivals. And I must say this card has been insane bro something about him in game that just feels very like this card is just insane bro in terms of vibrancy in terms of like moving forward with the ball and he's going to be the main man tavernier right there i don't know how you say his name properly is it tavernier or tavernier 250k bros i'd say that's good bang for buck now he doesn't have the skills or weak foot uh, but I think any everything else suffices, bro. He's got high, high six foot. I think that's perfect for the middle realm of just perfect, like, offensive and defensive abilities. Uh, and obviously, I don't know if he can link. I think you're going to have to link him with English players or icons. But if you can link, by all means, look at that stats, bro. All greens, bro. 99 crossing, 99 free kick accuracy. Now, he has 99 crossing, right, with whip pass plus. That is a deadly combo for an aerial threatened striker. Come on, bro. Add a shadow on this man. If not, just add anything that boosts the stats that's lacking. He's got amazing shot power even, bro. For 250k, with those stats, that's looking like prime root hullet, bro. Very nice right back. And I'm definitely including him at the best valued, man. we got the next one being... Uh, I feel like I've included him so much times um, that he's not in this video. So, unfortunately, we don't have Hank Hanko uh, at the offend right there. We don't have him on this video. But I do have a new one right there. He's going to be the main man. Calafiori, bro. 
Uh, some would argue even better value than uh, Hanko, but I feel like Hanko has that physical presence in game. He just has that aura. But Calafiori, bro, is insane. Ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at someone that's under 40,000 coins. More importantly, under 25k, bro. He dropped down. Four-star skills. Man can literally do a luck rocketer in your own in your own box. Six foot two as well. Perfect height. Yeah, medium and high. And he has Anticipate Plus. That's the main reason why I included him. Now, his defending stats is not the greatest, like, you know, composure-wise reactions. But you can obviously improve that with a chem style. And I feel like a lot of people right now are adding. Um, people are even going to backbone on him. Let's see what a backbone does, though. Backbone actually increases his um, interceptions, which is good. I don't know, man. It's up to you what you want to include. But maybe just a straight-up shadow. He gets over 90 pace split as well as very nice defending stats. So completely up to you. But I feel like he is really good in game. I actually did use him a couple of games. Uh, I sold him because I feel like there is better out there. But I feel like for the price, bro, 25k and under? Come on, man. What are we doing? But yeah, we're going to move over to the, I'd say, a very more relevant slash someone that will last more, or will last longer in the team, sorry. Uh, like, Kyle Fiori is good, yes. But I feel like there is, you need that center back that will last you at least two three months and it is this man right here it is gonna be tamori now we're gonna have to go into fudbin for this because i don't think they show evos but you can literally actually i can can i not show you here no i don't have the actual card so it is gonna be tamori evo right there let me showcase how you get this card you have to go through serial tots and it is free all you have to do is get tamori's gold card which is a little bit tough so tell me in the comments if you have gotten his card, but I know this card is insane because I've versed him twice. And the two times I've versed him, I couldn't believe how great he is. He's like Rudiger on crack, bro. Five-star weak foot, 98 sprint speed, bro. 94 reactions as well. Medium and high. Anticipate plus. All those stats with anticipate plus. Quite possibly the best playstyle plus for a center back. Quick step plus as well, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Nah, 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 nah. What are we doing, man? This is an insane, insane card. Please, trust me. Get this man in your team if you need a center back. If you have his gold card, please, bro. Don't waste that Evo. Definitely try him out. And he has amazing reactions alongside Composure for a center back. Usually with these Evos, they, they lack certain stats, but this card is not lacking at all. You know what I mean? It's insane, bro. So, yeah. Let's jump over, though, to the left back. And then he's going to be the main man. It's a bit of a different one right there. Um... You know, a lot of people would say, like, they would disagree. But I think this card is definitely good value. Now, why I say that is, oh, this game. I don't know. I hate when it does that, bro. We are back. Um, it just went out right there. It is Jordi Alba. Five-star skills. Now, what I like about this Jordi Alba, right? And it's the main why a reason why I included him in this. Uh, like, you know, a lot of fullbacks have skills or weak foot. But this man, importantly, has technical plus, bro. Do you know how incredible that is for someone that's so small? The way he's going to move on the ball. Ah, he's actually not that small, but I feel like relatively speaking, explosive body type, uh, sorry, running style. Alongside amazing agility and balance. Very nice defending stats. This is a no-brainer for me, bro. This is literally like prime Jordi Alba. Now, if he was in Barca, he is instantly up 500k. Let's just be honest, right? The 84 finishing for a left back as well. And he's got whip pass plus alongside Tiki Taka, bro. So if you can find a way to link him in your team, man, you are cooking. And he's got base anticipate plus. Quite possibly, I'd say the steal of the day, bro, for a left back. He's all for the measly price of 51k, bro. What are we doing? What are we doing, man? Let's just move over, though, to the next one right there. And he's going to be a insane, insane CM. And I might say... Quite possibly one of the best, like, versatile monsters in this game, bro. And it is going to be Kalinoglu, ladies and gentlemen. I included him in a past video. Uh, I haven't done a, a, a best value one in a while. But I must say, I'm really excited to include this card, bro. Because he is the epitome of very good value. Mostly explosive, first of all. High, high. Slap this man in a 4-2-3-1 or 4-3-2-1 as a box-to-box -box or just someone that is insane in terms of interceptions like this is just a solid card bro look at the stats now i'd probably add a shadow if he was a cdm or an engine if he's a cm does that make sense so definitely get him in your team is all for the price of 200k and i think he's plummeting a little bit or he could be picking up but he's got a, basically a 90 club which means everything above 94 stats except for physical so he's almost there but it's just such a very, very good card, bro. Oh, my days, man. What? Uh, I can't even speak English. Let's jump over to the next one, though. It is going to be the main man, Renato Sanchez. 
Now, I feel like Serie A has really hit home with some very good value players. I feel like because of the demand for players is not really there anymore. So the supply is, is increasing, which means the cards go down in price. You know, it's a big thing. Uh, there's just so much good cards. So, yeah, I've picked... Uh, I've pinpointed though the best right there and I feel like this Ronaldo Sanchez man reminds me of the FIFA 17 times bro when he had his card from Bayern Munich now if you slap him in the team you will notice how great he is bro now he doesn't have the skill moves or weak foot but as a box to box player probably the epitome of a small very reliant box to box type of card uh in small i mean compact now not in terms of height but very very compact bro uh, the way he turns the way he moves as well with the ball is just very nice and he's got a technical plus which just excels the card even further and it makes him an s plus tier card even without the skill moves and weak foot that's how good he is in game bro so you know when a card is very good and he doesn't even have the skill moves or weak foot to back it but the stats back it and how he feels in game it's just incredible very nice midfielder but yeah now in midfielder we have to include at least a cdm a cm and then obviously the cam now for cams i was deb debating between uh what's her name i think it's matra obviously the best like woman footballer in the world people have deemed but then i was like no for 20k more you can actually get Debinia. is it 20 or 30k something like that you can get Debinia. she has the five star skills and weak foot whereas matra just has the skills so essentially speaking you I'd probably say this is the best small, like more nimble cards in the game because she's five foot one. She's probably the smallest in the game, bro. Explosive body type with five foot one with that um, skill moves and weak foot. Come on, bro. Add probably a hunter if you're using it as a cam. You want to have all her pace and shooting stats up, and because uh, you know a su uh, dribbling suffices already, bro. And she has somewhat decent defending, not the greatest, obviously, but she can obviously cook, bro, man. If you add her as a probably a box to box CM or even just a attacking CM in a four three two one, she's gonna cook, man. She's got technical plus with all those stats. What are we doing? What are we doing? Let's go to the striker. Um, and I think we can all agree it is between him or Korea. Completely up to you, but I feel like Lukman is more the relevant one um because he knocked out uh by leverkusen i'm sorry to say but yeah technical plus as well what makes him so great now he doesn't have the greatest playstyle pluses under the sun power shot and technical plus is actually decent bro for actually he has amazing playstyle plus i meant base playstyles but uh, he can't even get more uh no no he can't get upgraded right because he won the final yeah this card's completely right I i'm not tripping nonetheless though an insane card very nice agility and balance amazing finishing very nice just raw stats for striker five star five star i don't really need to be explaining why this card's so great he's very good let's jump over to the next one it's gonna be the left winger it is Kavarat, bro Kavarat skelia now i don't know why he's so cheap for some reason it could probably be his balance but i feel like because he's not the tallest player under the sun just increase the balance with an engine uh chem style to boost agility as well might as well and then what i like about him reaction composure timing with stamina it's upped so it's going to be a much better card and he was really insane in the start of the game so i can only imagine how this version plays versed him a couple of times as well uh didn't use him i won't lie but i can say he's obviously going to be great bro do you know what i mean i mean he's got the rapid with poor pass plus uh, i'd more or less say he's the creator of a winger not really the the pouncing winger, winger that goes for the goals i'd say he's more of the creator type of wingers do you know what i mean so yeah completely up to you though how you play him i mean he's got five to five star anyway so yeah very last one though is going to be my personal favorite have used her and she's just insane bro it's caroline nicoli bro ladies and gentlemen what a card like if i were to say like the best five star five star combo and for good value in terms of attackers it's gonna be her bro the way she feels in game it's incredible five foot three as well so she is very short but 319k would you say that's good value i'd say that's good value bro and why i'd say that as well is the the likes of her um playstyle pluses alongside like the normal base playstyles now if she had technical plus it would definitely help you could argue maybe korea deserves to take her spot because he's cheaper and he's also got the five star combo i think let's just quickly see and a lot of people do like korea i mean korea's body type in game alongside his running styles is just insane he's got five star four star uh, korea has rapid as well as flair i mean korea's card is very nice i won't lie to you you could argue maybe he deserves to be over uh, nicoli but she's very good as a winger trust me for 300k that is a steal 
but yeah that is the video tell me if you agree and obviously we have um probably the best one out of the lot um why am i forgetting his name soloth there we go alexander soloth right there just incredible bro it makes me smile how great this card is and everyone's gonna use him because he's so cheap you know what i mean but yeah hit that like subscribe tell me who's your favorite uh best value card in the game i will catch boys in the very next one man peace <laughs>